Make smart financial decisions. Don't be like me. So good news, I got my paycheck earlier this week. Bad news, I already spent it all because I went thrift shopping. T twice. So um, here's what I irresponsibly spent my money on. Woohoo! So even though I apparently have no problem spending my money at thrift stores, one thing I hate spending my money on is overpriced school spirit wear. So when I saw this giant sweater in my school colors, I thought I might as well pick it up. It was 50% off, so only $4. It is big, it is green, it is white. I don't really attend too many sporting events because I usually work the actual sporting events. But if I ever do go to a football game, I will probably wear something like this. So, go Spartans! The second thing I picked up was also another sweater, but I'd say this one falls more on the summer end of the spectrum because, if you can see, this baby is made completely out of terry cloth. So that's basically the material that like, towels are made out of. So it says Myrtle Beach on it, super summery, super casual. One thing I've been keeping my eye out for in thrift stores for about a year now are overalls. And I finally found some in the form of short overalls which is even better in my book. So for those who don't know, I work as a camp counselor over the summer at a sleepaway camp, but the issue is because I fly to this camp, I have a limited amount of luggage that I can bring with me. So, and overalls, and like denim overalls specifically, are heavy and they take up a lot of space. So that's why I was really thrilled when I found this lightweight option from Mud. So they're not typical denim overalls, but they're more of a romper style, but that is fine by me. So I'm very happy, and these will definitely be getting a lot of use over the summer at camp. So the next thing I got was something I already have a lot of in my closet. Like a lot of. And that would be t-shirts. So I really liked the navy one because it had blue flecks and a v-neck, and I like v-necks, and I like blue, and it was 50 cents. So I got it. I grabbed the black bleach t-shirt because I really like bleach stuff. It was pre-bleached, it was a small, it was nice, and um, apparently I have a bit of an obsession, so I got that too. And I'm also going through a tie-dye phase, so I grabbed a tie-dye t-shirt. This one, okay, this one is just, <laughs> this one is justifiable, only this one, because yes, it is tie-dye, and yes, I have a lot of tie-dye, but like, Look at it, it's really cool, it's a really cool tie-dye, it's not the typical spiral pattern. It's blue and purple and there's some red and orange flecks mixed in and it's really nice and I really have no reason for buying this except that it's cool and I wanted it. So that was 90 cents. So I also grabbed a Heidelberg Deutschland t-shirt with this really cool little graphic on the front. And I am German, that's why I grabbed this t-shirt. That's really the only reason why. It's not a, not a really good reason, but I guess if something brings a smile to your face and it's cheap, why not go for it? Okay, so bear with me. This next thing I got is not at all practical, and by that I mean it's not at all practical. And it is this off-white, gold, beaded, floor-length 80s evening gown. Like, it's so long but it's also so pretty. I really, I don't know, I have an unhealthy obsession with like beaded evening gowns, and I've got like three in my closet. I wore them to like to my proms and homecomings in high school, so it counts. But now that I'm in college, of course, it's completely logical for me to want a floor-length evening gown. So I got it, it was $11, it was a splurge, but to me it was worth it because the beading on this is pretty well intact, it is high quality, I might want to replace the lining in it or where I slip under it. There's actually also really funky boob pads in it that I'll take out. But like, you never know. I might have an event where I need to wear a fancy dress. But you know what? Also, you know, you know what? No, I do have a reason to buy. Because it is white. And if I do decide to get married, let's be honest, like 5 to 10 to 20 years down the road, I probably won't want an off the rack dress. I would want something thrifted. And now I have a white thrifted dress. So I just bought my potential wedding dress for $11. Okay, it is completely practical and I have no regrets. I found this pair of 70s style go-go boots. And you are right, look, there's a chunky heel, a 
square toe and a mishmash of textures and designs. And I really love this shoe because it is comfortable, it is weird, it has personality. I will definitely get some funny looks when I wear this like to the grocery store, but that is totally fine because these just make me really happy and they make me smile and they just make me walk with like an extra spring in my stuff. Anyway, so spring is coming and I thought I might hop on board with a very summery type of purchase and that would be a sun hat. So I really like this sun hat because it has a floppy brim. This sun hat is completely mushable, completely smushable. It is perfect for just th throwing into like a suitcase if I'm traveling somewhere. And it is still fun when I take it out at the end of the day. This may be a bit of a controversial subject, especially in the fashion world, but one clothing item that I don't think gets enough credit would be the hammer pant. And don't, don't get me wrong, they are hideous and they're not particularly flattering, but they're so comfortable. They look so casual and so comfy. And I already have a black pair, so when I saw this brightly patterned, brightly colored hammer pant, harem pant type thing, I just couldn't resist. You know, they're, they're loose, they're casual, they're a bit sheer, so I'm gonna have to only wear nude underwear with them. But like, I love them. So comfy, like, so stretchy. So I have no regrets as far as hammer pants and watercolor prints are concerned. When it comes to casual fashion, I am a huge fan of hooded shirts. So if it's like hoodies, hooded sweatshirts, like hooded jackets, I'm a fan. So when I saw this black mesh, kind of see-through hooded tank top, I just picked it up. It was 99 cents. There's a, a drawstring on the bottom. Obviously there's a hood. So I think this will just be perfect for layering under sweatshirts or over swimsuits for the summer and for the upcoming season. So I thought I could not go wrong. One style of clothing that I seem to be a huge fan of right now is intimate wear slash sleepwear as just normal everyday stuff. So when I saw this black, kind of textured, sheer, kimono, bathrobe style thing, I thought it was really cool because it is light, it is airy, it's got really cool textures, and I figured this would be perfect for the summer because I can just throw it on over like a tank top and short shorts if I feel like I'm showing too much skin, or I can just wear it like even in the winter with like leggings and just a shirt. So this is nice for covering up a little bit but not adding much warmth. So another set of things that I got that I already have quite a lot of at home would be purses. So I got three purses, three of them because the ten I have at home aren't enough. So I'll just walk you through each one and why I chose to buy it. So the first purse that I picked up was this small green gold elephant purse and I really liked it because green's my favorite color, elephants are my favorite animal, and I'm actually, I've been on the lookout for like a smaller, flatter purse like this for quite a period of time, and the reason for that is that when I travel like to and from around airports, I like to keep my passport and my boarding pass and all that info in one spot. And I don't want to have to like rifle through my backpack each time I go through a security check, so I like having a very small, a very thin purse where I can just throw it over my shoulder, have it really close to my body with me at all times with all the important stuff in it. So for someone who doesn't really have a lot of school spirit, I sure do seem to buy a lot of things that come in my school colors. And one of those items would be this dark green purse. And I liked it because, not only because of the color, but because it is definitely a larger purse and it will it fits more than a lot of the current pur purses I have. So I only buy crossbody bags just because I like having my hands free. But I like this purse, like I said, because it was larger and it has this cool little spin clasp opening. When you open it up, there's this larger compartment and there is also a smaller front pocket. And I really like this because I can fit more than my standard wallet, chapstick, phone deal. So this last purse is definitely the least practical out of all of them and it is this off-white, metallic, detailed crossbody bag. And I just really liked it because it feels so cool. Just all this metal like mesh makes it feel like snakeskin almost. I just thought it looked really interesting. I'd say my biggest weakness when I go thrifting is definitely jewelry and I got quite a lot of that. So I'll just show you a quick few clips of what I got. But 
that's all. So thank you for sticking around and watching me talk about how I irresponsibly spend my money. So um, if you liked any of these items, there will be a lookbook coming out soon with how I style them. So just stay tuned for that. Um, thank you for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Oh, that could have been bad.